Hey guys, welcome to my channel. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing very well. I'm going to show you how I make my corn souffle. Now, I do not have an exact recipe for it because I don't remember it. <laughs> uh, I've been doing it just the way I want to do it for years now. So you can adjust it, do whatever you want, however you make it look. But I like it to be extra, extra creamy. Like cornbread could be kind of dry, but when I do it this way, it turns out really creamy and nice and moist and so yummy but i use martha white cornbread mix you could use whatever you want there's the jiffy and whatever else you want but i like this brand a lot um i like them all really but I, I use this one it used to come in a box but now you see it comes in a bag i did buy three I'm not sure if i'm gonna use all three um we'll see what happens i also use a whole thing of cream cheese this will be my first time buying the walmart brand uh, I usually buy the Philadelphia cream cheese, but I told you I'm starting to, everything's getting so expensive, I'm starting to go back to name brand. So you use whatever brand you want, whatever's good. This is probably just as good. I'm not saying it's not, I just never actually used it before. And a stick of butter, margarine, butter, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, one of these. And I have two, my labels coming off here, two cans of cream corn. Now you could use one cream corn and one regular corn. I do two cream corns. And sometimes I don't even do two, sometimes I just do one, but I did buy two for just in case. I'll have to see how it looks when I'm mixing it. But this also, I know if you don't like cream corn, a lot of people don't like it. You don't notice that it's cream corn in there. You just notice the little bit of corn kernels because the cream mixes in with the cornbread mix and you don't even realize it's in there. So don't worry about that if you don't like cream corn too much. And I don't have an electric hand opener anymore. I don't really like them that much. So I have my old trusty hand can opener that I'm going to use. And I have my bowl here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cream cheese. And I'm going to take the butter. I'm going to put it in here. And I'm going to put it in the microwave and let it melt into there. Because you want it nice and melted. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to be right back with you. So and I'll show you what it looks like melted. Okay. I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, actually, before I put it in there, I just wanted to see. That's what it just looks like. And then I melted in this bowl. And I forgot to tell you, I also have an aluminum pan. Um, you know, the smaller amount you make, the smaller the pan you go. But I just have, I think it's like a 9 by 13 or 8 by, I don't know. I don't know. But a regular aluminum pan, which I will spray with Pam, too. So I just wanted you to see that. And I'll be back. And I'm going to probably turn the camera around so you can see me mixing it in there. Okay, guys, first I'm going to spray my pan so I don't forget it. I'm sorry, this is so awkward for me, so I'm sorry if I'm out of camera some. I have a very small countertop, so it has the pan on it. I'm going to set that aside for just a second. I just use regular pan. Use whatever you would like. It doesn't matter. Here's what it looks like out of the microwave. It is still nice and hot. I'm glad this is a microwave bowl. I must have got rid of my one bowl that I use all the time for the microwave. But, um, I got this bowl at Target. It's really cheap. So here's how it turns out. Not the prettiest looking. It's just the cream cheese and just the butter. But oh, this is so good, guys. I'm telling you, this is so good. I know for a fact I will be using two of these. So I'm going to open two. See if it's easy to take. Oh, yeah. Hey, and I didn't spill anything at this point. So that's a good thing. One. Sorry, I know that was in the camera. But like I said, <laughs> doing the best I can. And here's the second one open. I'll try to do it from this way. Just pour it in there. I could have done one at a time and stirred, but I want to get them both in there. I might do the third one. Not sure yet, but we're going to see how this turns out. I'm going to add this in there, and then I'm going to add one can of the corn. So, the corn is good. It gives that little pieces of corn kernels in there, you know, and everything. It's so nice. I'm going to put that aside for right now, and I'm going to stir this up, and we're going to see how it turns out. I really think I'm going to add the other corn thing the other corn mix. Let me get this in here first. Yeah, I am. And I'm going to add the other can of corn. So give me just a second here. I'm going to open it up. I have it right here. I use a hand one like I told you. I used to have an electric one, but I, it dropped the can so many times. I don't like that. It made a mess on my ceiling. You know, I was like, no, thank you. And remember, the creaminess of this, my bowl's really not that big. I hope it's all going to fit in there. <laughs> I'll add this first. This is so, look how easy this is, guys. It's quick, it's easy, and it's yummy and moist. And I didn't turn my oven on, which I should have done. My bowl's kind of, it's not very long. So I have to be gentle. So I'm going to, here in a minute, set my oven for 400. And then I let it bake. 
then I check it with a toothpick. You're gonna let it bake, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know and I apologize, but look how this is. And it turns out so moist and so creamy, guys. You gotta stir it up good. Get all that goodness mixed up in there. All that cream cheese. But like I said, if you wanna just use one can of cream corn and one can of regular um, corn, that's fine. That's not a problem. My bowl's moving around on me, so <laughs> my apologies, but I want you to see this. Look at this. Look how creamy that looks. I'm going to turn my oven on 400. Hold on. I have a gas stove. It takes a little bit for it to heat up, and I can't read the dials because I don't have my glasses on. But back to this. Look at this. Look at how this looks. So yummy. Make sure it's mixed up really good like you would your cake batter. Look at all the little corn kernels in there. So good. Got my clothes going in the washer just in case. This is being filmed on Thanksgiving morning. I want to make it fresh. I'm not sure when this video will come up. It might be days or a week later, but at least you have it for Christmas. I wanted to do it before Thanksgiving, but I wanted to be fresh, so I hope you don't mind. I did it on here. I wanted you to have it for Thanksgiving, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen because I won't get this edited in time. So that's what it looks like. Looks delicious. Move it to the side here. This is gonna be awkward pouring this in there. Let's see. Okay, now, got me a little couple milk here. My little, I use the um, Fairlight milk. There's that, Now I'm gonna try to pour it in so you can see it going in. Look at it, look at this. And it's gonna rise, it's gonna be thick, it's gonna be so yummy. Oh my gosh, look at that. I can hear my oven starting to go. Hope you can see some of this, but yeah. Look at that. That's what it looks like right there. Looks just like a cake, doesn't it? <laughs> so, and you get most of it out. Somebody complained the other day, time that I didn't use a spatula. Well, you know what, you know what? I don't like to have a lot of dishes. This is good enough for me. Whatever I have is what I use. I, I'm the same way at work, you know, and stuff like that. I use as less dishes as possible because I gotta clean them. <laughs> So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna throw it in the oven at 400. I'm gonna let it bake probably 30, 40 minutes. I'm not sure. I'll try to let you know how long I baked it for, but you really have to use the toothpick, make sure it's cooked through because it's very moist and it's kind of like a cake because it has all that liquid in there. I didn't follow the instructions on back. As you, as you see, these are the instructions, water and egg and stuff like that. I didn't add any of that. I just added my stuff. And that's how it's going to turn out. So, put it in the oven. I'll let you know when it's done. And we'll take a peek at it. I'm going to start some deviled eggs, which I'm not going to show you. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys. So, next, I'm going to start my deviled eggs, which I'm not going to do on camera because everybody knows how to make deviled eggs. But I'll tell you what I do. I do mayo. I like craft mayonnaise. I use craft mayonnaise. I'll show it to you. Real craft mayonnaise. And I really use any type of mustard that I have. It's just a regular mustard, you know. Uh, I don't know who makes it, but <laughs> the regular type of mustard. And I, this is the mayonnaise I like to use. My mom, she uses Hellman's because that's what my dad liked. I use uh, Kraft Mayo. This is my favorite. Some people use, I think, Miracle Whip and different things. But this is what I use. Mustard, mayo, salt and pepper. There goes the cuckoo, so you know it's early. <laughs> mustard, mayo, and salt and pepper. Sm Take my eggs, you know, put the yellow in the thing, smush them up, put them in a bowl, smush them up, add my stuff, and then put them in a bowl. If I get them done by the time I'm done with this, I'll show them to you. Um, but yeah, that's how I make them. Very simple. You know, everybody makes them different. I make mine a little slightly tangy. I have a little bit more mustard in it, but a little bit of tang. So, but I'll let you see what the souffle turned out looking like. I'm not going to cut it, unfortunately, because I want to take it to my mom's house whole. And we'll probably cut it there because it has to travel a little bit. And if I can, I'm going to try to film a little bit at my mom's house to show you some of the stuff. She did make a vegetarian turkey. We all are bringing a little bit of stuff. But then I also help pitch in to pay for some of the Thanksgiving dinner. So my mom wouldn't have to cover the whole cost. So, but it's at her house. So she's baking the turkey. She has a little regular turkey. And then she bought a vegetarian turkey, which I hope is very yummy. So I'll let you guys know how that turned out. Or you could ask me down in the comment section if I didn't let you know. But let me know how you make your deviled eggs. Let me know what you thought about that corn souffle. I'm telling you what, it's so moist and yummy. It's so good. Everybody loves it. 
I'll definitely, definitely talk to you later. I love you, and I'll see you in a bit. I just wanted you guys to see how it's looking. It's been in there for about 20 minutes or so. Still needs to cook a little bit more. I'll show you at the end. Okay, here you go. Here you go, guys. Look at this. Doesn't that look so yummy and delicious? I mean, it looks so good and so yummy. That's what it looks like. You can see all the little corn kernels in there and the cream. If you don't like cream corn, it just soaks into there. I took this and I put it in there just like I would a cake. And it looks like it's pretty well done. So I believe it's done. And I wanted you to see what it looks like. It's hot, hot out of the oven. I'm not going to cut it because I want it to be whole when I get there. But it's so dull. I mean, look at this. Look at every corner of this. I hope I'm making you very hungry because it's delicious. I mean, look at it. So delicious, guys. Get your little zoom in. I will talk to you guys later. And I love you. Bye-bye. Guys, I'm at my mom's house. I just wanted to show you the uh, turkey that she got. It's a meatless turkey, Worthington. And I do love their canned goods. They have two. So hopefully it's really good. I'll try to show it to you when it's done, if, if I remember. But it looks like it's going to be really good. Here's the back of the box. Uh, she has regular turkey too. But I definitely wanted to show this to you. So here's the calorie, just in case you want to know. But I think... It's going to be delicious because they make good products. They really do. Let me know if you tried this already or not. And let me know. And I'll talk to you later. Nikki, she's at Grandma's house too. Hey, say hi. Say hi. I'm at Grandma's house. She's at Grandma's house visiting for a little while. You want to say hi? Move it up above. Here's Donna. She can say hi. hi. You got something on your lip, Donna? You need to wipe that off. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Here you go, guys. This is the vegetarian turkey. From Worthington. My mom said it was $16, but really turned out really nice looking. I think it looks like a little loaf cake, but it looks really delicious. I'll have to let you know how it tastes. I think it's going to taste really good, so we'll see.